guys, it's Raul TV back again. Can you see my face? Yeah. And we've got a Honda Jazz there, 2008 plate, 1.4 petrol. We're going to replace the clutch, and uh, yeah, that's all we're going to replace. Let's do this. Right, guys, this is the 1.4 uh, petrol Honda Jazz. What we're going to do first is we're going to take the battery lead off, take the battery out, basically take them two leads off, and we're going to take these little 10 millis off nuts off then after that we're going to take the air filter off basically one bolt right let me just see if I can zoom in one there and literally one there take them two off take the Jubilee clip off and uh, that's about it okay guys we've took the uh, the uh, battery tray off and we've took the the air filter box off dead easy like I showed you guys what we do now is to make our life more easier uh, what we do is we take this one off this one off and this one off take this battery tray off totally then it'll, we can have we'll have so much space gain we'll gain access to the mountain to the uh, bell housing bolts dead easy that way so yeah let's go ahead and take that off okay guys as you can see here we've took all the linkages off I've just cable tied it up there to take linkages off basically three three of them take them off and then it should come straight off uh, took the slave cylinder off uh, I've took the bell housing bolts off uh, earth strap uh, is off from here right down there There's a, if you can see it there right there I'm pointing at it now we're moving it that's where the strap goes um, besides that all I've done is Crack the uh, top mounting bolt. Uh, on these, they've got two mountings on the one side, you know, on the gearbox side. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it up, take everything off on the bottom, and then we're gonna take this top mounting off. And obviously, the other mounting will hold it up, and then we can send the car back up. Take the gearbox off. Let's do that. Come on, Phil. Let's send it up. Okay, guys, I've sent the car on the ramp. The car's on the ramp. First thing we've done was take the wheels off. Uh, dead easy. If you can't take the wheels off, you shouldn't attempt this job. So I'm not gonna even tell you, show you guys how to take the wheel off. Right, uh, took this big massive cover off, which is a pain in the backside. Uh, but I've took it off. That's off. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna take the ball joints off, uh, center nut on the drive shafts, take them off, take the drive shafts out totally, uh, take all the bell housing bolts off, and uh, that's that's about it on this car. Basically, obviously the mountain. This is the mountain that I was uh, on about before. If you look at it. Um, that's the mountain underneath the car. We can leave that on until the, un, until the, the very end. Uh, that way, that will support it on this side. Uh, we take the back mountain off, and we'll take the top mountain off, and we'll get a, a hydraulic jack, support the engine, and uh, happy days. So let's get on it. Let's do this. Hey guys, what we're gonna do now is Phil, pass that 17th panel, please, mate. We're going to take that ball joint off, put a bit of oil on it, my man Phil just put a bit of oil on it, I've cracked it, take that one off, Phil you're going to take this one off please mate, 19 milli, you take that one off, that side, Phil's taking that one off, what, what, what we've done now is, we've cracked the centre nut, we have cracked the centre nut, uh, ready to come off 32 mil that is the 32 mil socket on that one uh, after we've do, done that obviously I'll show you what, I'm, uh, what we're gonna do next we have to just batter the uh, um, the ball joint out from there right we're gonna take the center nut off now got the gun 32 mil and what we do is that's tightening by the way sorry about that all the other way center nut straight off Go to the other side. Turn that out for us, Phil. I've got the camera on one hand, so I can't, I'm a bit stranded, you see. So, same again. Boom, straight off. That's on the floor now. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take these uh, ball joints off. Uh, batter, uh, we'll give it a little hit on tap on the ball joint. Not on the ball joint, but on the, uh, on the side here, on the hub. And hopefully, ball joint will come off. Then we can take the drive shaft off. And before we take the drive shaft off, we have to drain it. Make sure you drain the gear oil. Right, the way we drain it is there. Just there. 
Take that one off. It's like a square Allen key kind of thing. Take that off. Filler is up there. I mean, let me just see if I can show you guys. Up there, filler is there. Drain is here. So we're draining from there, fill it up there. That's it. Right, I've got the uh, nut. Now you can see it's locked up against the CV joint. So what we do now is, Phil, can we have a hammer, please? A hammer. Thor's hammer. Right, and what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to hit it there. Hopefully that will go down. Obviously I've got the camera in one hand, so I cannot hit it properly, guys. So I'm going to take that off, hit it there, basically hit it there, uh, take it off, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, guys, I'm draining the oil. Straight into that. And what, what we're going to do now is, there's no nice way to do this, basically. I've took the drive shafts off, as you can see. Drive shaft is off there. Uh, we'll get a pry bar fill. Right, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just pry this drive shaft out. There we go. Just like that. And that, that side, should, uh, it should just come straight off. On this side, same again. Drive shaft's there. All we do is get it in between there. And just give it a little tug. And that should just come straight out. Guys, uh, what we've done now is I've tackled this back mountain, the stabilizer mountain, and I'll be straight up honest with you, it is a pig of a job to take off. Um, the reason being, they've got three bolts right there, one there, one there, one still on there, as you can see, another one on the top, yeah? And to take them off, obviously we had to take the, uh, the bolt that goes through it, take that one off, and then um, what we had to do is we get a spanner and just literally a millimeter at a time, take them off. Um, that's the only way I think we could do it. The only, the other way is, see these, uh, this one here, and there's another one in there, but I can't really show you that. Um, take them off. Well, they they were rock, rock solid, you know, so stiff, you know, so uh, seized up, so we can't take them off. So now we've took that. Now it's moving about, as you can see. What we'll do is we'll take all the bell housing bolts off. There's one right up there, let's see if I can show you guys. Right up there, which is where my finger is there, if you can make it out. One here, and um, one there, one there, and the mountain, which is there. Right there. And that's about it, so what we're gonna do is we'll take all the bell housing bolts off, and we'll, we'll leave one on as a, like, a last bolt basically uh, and what we do is we'll send it down, take that other mountain off, the top mountain off and then we'll send it back up again and we'll get the uh, lifter on it. What we do now is, uh, I've sent the car down, these here, I've got my old trusty, the air ratchet. Around the back here, take that one off. If I can get to it, show you guys. Just tilt it a bit. There we go. And obviously, take this one off here. After we've taken, we've taken them off, this bracket will come off, but the gearbox will still be there. It will tilt forward a little bit, and uh, then we send it up, get the uh, hoist on it, which is here. All ready, Phil's got it all ready for me. Right, and then that's it. What we do is we take the gearbox out. Okay guys, as you can see, we've took the mountain off, the bracket, which is in my hand here. Three nuts, actually two, one bolt and uh, two nuts. Take that off. Uh, even by taking that off, you can see the gearbox is moving a little bit. Right? But the thing is, uh, it's still supported because we've got, if, you, if I move over to this side, if you can make it out, we've still got this bracket, which is a mountain basically. And we take that off from the bottom. Happy days. Let's do this. Come on, Phil, let's send it up. The bracket, the mountain, the, the side mountain basically. Um, all it is, we've got some bolts there. One, two, three. Three 14 millis and two 14 millis holding it up there. 
One minute, the, there you go. One there, and one about there. Just about make it out. Take them off. Well, before we you take them off, make sure you get a, a, a you know the uh, the gearbox lift to support it. If you don't support it, it's going to come straight off. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Hey guys, gearbox is off on the floor. I'd recommend you get two people to take it off because it is heavy. Like I mentioned in my other videos, two people to take it off. Heavy gearbox. Right, and as for the clutch, there's the flywheel. I've took the clutch off. It's absolutely burnt out, which is down here. There's the clutch. And the flywheel's up there. And that's about it. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a little bit of rest, wait for the clutch to arrive, give that a sanding down, uh, emery cloth, uh, sand it down, clean it up, and yeah, let's fit the new clutch. Okay, guys, I've uh, got the clutch and gearbox, everything back on now. Obviously, it's the same way, same procedure on all clutches. Take the clutch off, get a few, uh, two, two guys to take it off with you, you know, or at least another person to take it off with you. Uh, get the hoist on it. I put the mounting on, mountains back on, back mountains back on, and well, I haven't put the bolt through, but I put the uh, bracket back on. One top tip: put the bracket back on while nothing's on. You see, before you put this mounting on, and before you put the back mounting on, everything, put the bracket on. It gives you that bit of uh, extra room, but that I would say inch, two inches of extra room, and get your fingers in there. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna release the jack. That's released. Tension's released. And happy days.